Women hold up half the sky. Deaths have benefits. They can fertilize the ground. Communism is not love. Communism is a hammer which we use to crush the enemy. Everything under heaven is in utter chaos. The situation is excellent. The weeds of socialism are better than the crops of capitalism. That has less significance than a dog's fart. Morality begins at the point of a gun. In waking a tiger, use a long stick. When there is not enough to eat, people starve to death. It is better to let half of the people die so that the other half can eat their fill. All political power comes from the barrel of a gun. The Communist Party must command all the guns, that way, no guns can ever be used to command the party. The young people are the most active and vital force in society. They are the most eager to learn and the least conservative in their thinking. This is especially so in the era of socialism. A revolution is not a dinner party or writing an essay, or painting a picture, or doing embroidery. It cannot be so refined, so leisurely and gentle, so temperate, kind, courteous, restrained and magnanimous. A revolution is an insurrection, an act of violence by which one class overthrows another. People say that poverty is bad, but in fact poverty is good. The poorer people are, the more revolutionary they are. It is dreadful to imagine a time when everyone will be rich. From a surplus of calories people will have two heads and four legs. Don't make a fuss about a world war. At most, people die. Half the population wiped out, this happened quite a few times in Chinese history. It's best if half the population is left, next best one third. People who try to commit suicide, don't attempt to save them. China is such a populous nation, it is not as if we cannot do without a few people. We should support whatever the enemy opposes and oppose whatever the enemy supports kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. Power comes from the muzzle of a gun, those that have the guns have the power, those that have the power dictate what type of government there shall be. Many who have read Marxist books have become renegades from the revolution, whereas illiterate workers often grasp Marxism very well. In time of difficulties, we must not lose sight of our achievements. To be attacked by the enemy is not a bad thing but a good thing. All genuine knowledge originates in direct experience. You can't solve a problem. Well, get down, and investigate the present facts and the problem's past history. When you have investigated the problem thoroughly, you will know how to solve it. We are indebted to Marx, Engels, Lenin, and Stalin for giving us a weapon. The weapon is not a machine gun, but Marxism-Leninism. Maybe you're afraid of sinking. Don't think about it. If you don't think about it, you won't sink. If you do, you will. Not to have a correct political point of view is like having no soul. The people, and the people alone, are the motive force in the making of world history. 
Enable every woman who can work to take her place on the labor front, under the principle of equal pay for equal work. Civilize the mind but make savage the body. Firstly, do not fear hardship, and secondly, do not fear death. Don't wait until problems pile up and cause a lot of trouble before trying to solve them. Leaders must march ahead the movement, not lag behind it political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Look at World War II, at Hitler's cruelty. The more cruelty, the more enthusiasm for revolution. There may be thousands of principles of Marxism, but in the final analysis they can be summed up in one sentence, rebellion is justified. Despise your enemy strategically, but take him seriously tactically our principle is that the party commands the gun, and the gun must never be allowed to command the party. Who are our enemies? Who are our friends? This is a question of the first importance for the revolution. The first law of war is to preserve ourselves and destroy the enemy. War can only be abolished through war, and in order to get rid of the gun it is necessary to take up the gun. It's always darkest before it becomes totally black. Be resolute, fear no sacrifice, and surmount every difficulty to win victory. We communists are like seeds and the people are like the soil. Wherever we go, we must unite with the people, take root, and blossom among them. You have never suffered how can you be a leftist? Civilize the mind but make savage the body. Firstly, do not fear hardship, and secondly, do not fear death. Don't wait until problems pile up and cause a lot of trouble before trying to solve them. Leaders must march ahead the movement, not lag behind it political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Look at World War II, at Hitler's cruelty. The more cruelty, the more enthusiasm for revolution. There may be thousands of principles of Marxism, but in the final analysis they can be summed up in one sentence, rebellion is justified. Despise your enemy strategically, but take him seriously tactically our principle is that the party commands the gun and the gun must never be allowed to command the party. Who are our enemies? Who are our friends? This is a question of the first importance for the revolution. The first law of war is to preserve ourselves and destroy the enemy. War can only be abolished through war, and in order to get rid of the gun it is necessary to take up the gun. It's always darkest before it becomes totally black. Be resolute, fear no sacrifice, and surmount every difficulty to win victory. We communists are like seeds and the people are like the soil. Wherever we go, we must unite with the people, take root, and blossom among them. You have never suffered how can you be a leftist?